So it looks like it is 420 every day if you live in Texas anyways. News over the weekend was that Tesla came out with their first robo-taxi uh, pilot and people are posting all about it on social media. For those of you who don't know, the robo-taxis are Tesla's next sort of uh, revenue stream where they are looking to put a bunch of autonomous vehicles out on the road to give you rides and obviously take on incumbents like Uber and Lyft. In typical Elon Musk fashion, these things are charged $4.20 as a flat fee right now. Now, can you expect $4.20 to be the main price for robo taxi rides forever? Absolutely not. But it's definitely a way to get attention when you're coming out of the gate with your marketing. Here's the challenge though with any kind of thing when you have operations and you have physical things that you need to manage and maintain and you are also trying to grab market share on price. Whether you are in CPG, whether you are selling any other type of product, uh, you always have to remember that while price is easy to increase your value proposition and bring people in, it makes it extremely difficult to continue to scale and expand. While robo taxis, for example, might have a lower cost than something like Waymo or Amazon Zox, it's still at the end of the day, a very expensive thing to be doing for such a low margin. I shared a couple of weeks ago, the increase in price in Waymo compared to Uber and Lyft. And I suggested at the time that they were doing the right thing because a driverless taxi is actually a premium experience. Tesla will no doubt have a lot of um, wins by stealing market share by having a low price, but the reality is sooner or later those prices and costs will continue to increase, not just because of the fact that they have a higher base cost because of the, the technology, but you have to remember that when you are running a, a fleet of robo taxis, you are going to be responsible for charging, for maintenance, for upkeep, for cleaning, all kinds of other things that nobody usually thinks about when it comes to your operating expenses. Keep that in mind as you sell anything, right? That you can always drop the price and you can always get more attention, but the reality is nobody is going to win by um, trading a dollar for a quarter and really selling yourself at a loss, no matter what your product is, because there is no ramp that will get you out of that problem. I still hold that driverless taxis are a premium experience and I do think that at the end of the day you will see that they will always be more expensive than driver versions just because of the fact that people will pay for what they can get exactly from an, an autonomous taxi or rideshare service. Let me know your thoughts. Do you actually agree that driverless taxis are a um, premium experience or do you think that they should be the low cost option and that you should pay more or that the premium should be shifted towards when you have a human driver?